Well, to go over all of this, I'm delighted to be joined in the studio by The Sun on Sunday's political editor, David Wooding. David, welcome to the programme. Um, is the Prime Minister a totally busted flush now, stuck between, on one hand, his scientific advisers and the other rebels in his own party? Well, it's without doubt he has been weakened by the events of the recent week's party gate, that by-election reverse in North Shropshire, um, the, the rebellion by 100 MPs and at the weekend, the resignation of his Brexit ally, Lord Frost, from the Cabinet. Uh, yes, he is a weakened man. However, uh, it's always been the case, even from, from the day COVID began, two years ago nearly, uh, where, where the Prime Minister has been doing a balancing act between mm. the health lobby who want the strongest lockdowns and the business lobby who want... Britain opening up. I remember in The Sun on Sunday, it must have been about 18 months ago, we did a, a, a full write-through across two pages and we had this picture of Boris Johnson walking a tightrope from the Big Ten Ben clock tower across the Thames and he had Chris Whitty sitting on one end of his balancing pole mm. and Rishi Sunak on the other, which in a picture summed up the, the, the balancing act that he has to do. And he has that got that again. The difference now, though, Tom, is that... Uh, um, because of the rebellion by 100 MPs mm. and because MPs are openly in revolt and talking about a leadership challenge, mm. uh, he is now being swayed a little bit more towards those who uh, rebelled, who want uh, lockdown restrictions not to be imposed. Mm. And, of course, we saw that in the decision made or the, the non-decision <laughs> made uh, yesterday. Uh, so, that, so that bucket, that COVID recovery group bucket, um, for, for want of a better phrase, is a lot heavier now than the scientific uh, bucket. It, it was interesting to me reading some reports that Rishi Sunak, someone who is often briefed in the press to be very against restrictions, didn't speak that much in the Cabinet meeting yesterday. Is he trying to hold his cards close to his mm. chest? You see, this is the, this is the risk for all the, the Cabinet, particularly those who are perhaps manoeuvring a little bit in case there is a leadership challenge. They don't... They want to be on the side of the, the MPs mm. who all believe... A lot of the Tory MPs who, who have the big say, who believe that we should open up a lot more. Uh, but on the other hand, they don't want to be seen to be the, the person who uh, is on the side of death and destruction mm. if the, uh, the worst-case scenarios unfold. And we've got Michael Gove and now Sajid Javid, who is a little bit more gung-ho about opening up than, than his predecessor, Matt Hancock, mm. are both being a bit cautious. Um, Rishi Sunak and Liz Truss, the two front runners for, to be the next leader, mm. uh, are openly on the side of, uh, have made it known certainly that they're on the side of uh, keeping things a little bit more relaxed. Mm. But of course, Boris Johnson uh, is, is, is torn here and, and, and perhaps he is being swayed by the overwhelming view of his party at the moment.